Uh, WISIS 2015 has many guests from many different fields. It is a multi-stakeholder event, after all, and NGOs are represented here as well. And I'm very pleased to be joined by Berhan Gebru. Tell me about your organization, FHI 360. Uh, FHI 360 is an international NGO and uh, we work from over 60 country offices around the world. Our practice areas include health, education, environment, civil society development, research, and uh, we apply technology um, to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of our programs uh, so that we can deliver the best possible service. Okay, so there's a, there's, there's a strong technology strain in, in the DNA of FHI 360. Tell us how it's being used in, in, in a project. Now, I'm very interested in, I think it's in Uganda, where you're gathering data on climate change uh, at a very granular level, right? A lot of detail, a lot of data. Um, tell me about that program and, and what you've learned from that. The project in Uganda um, is called Climate Change Adaptation and ICT, uh, or CHAI project. We are collecting data from communities to understand the type of climatic hazards that they are facing, what are the impacts of those hazards in their livelihood. You know, they are dependent on crop and livestock agriculture. How does, how does that impact? in their productivity, and uh, we are gathering daily weather data from weather stations located at village level um, from several villages in the country. And uh, we installed a server at the Uganda Meteorological Authority to receive all those data sets coming from the community. Is it too early to see any trends? How long has the program been in place? The program started in 2012. Okay. And we have conducted different surveys to understand the impact of the information, the adaptation information we are providing um, in increasing their adaptive capacity. Okay, so, but at the moment it's really a snapshot. You're getting, you're setting your baselines, presumably, in terms of understanding the climate as it stands. Uh, yes, I mean, they're facing quite a number of climatic hazards, drought being the major one, flooding, and other climate sensitive diseases that proliferate as a result of some of the hazards. So, we are providing agricultural advisories to the communities, we're providing um, low-cost water harvesting techniques using different channels. We use mobile phones, we use radio broadcasters, uh, interactive radio, we, we, we use uh, community loudspeakers and face-to-face -face meetings to provide uh, those information. So um, it's resulting in a significant reduction uh, of crop loss and damage as a result of using the information that we are providing. Okay, so already you, you can see some, some benefits. Yes. Now, this forum, what brings you here? What do you hope to gain or what have you gained from the conversations you've participated in this week? I came to the WISIS forum uh, as one of the winners on the eHealth uh, action line. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's for a project, an initiative that we implemented in South Africa in collaboration with the Eastern Cape Department of Health. Uh, we developed a mobile health library resident on mobile devices uh, that contains thousands and thousands of pages of material on clinical and public health. And clinical nurses and doctors can access this content at the point of care without internet connection on their devices. And um, it's resulting in significant improvements in the quality of healthcare delivery. Um, over 80% of the doctors and all nurses have reported um, improved diagnosis, um, improved uh, uh, treatment to their patients um, uh, 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 over the past six, seven years. So we started with about 175 nurses and doctors. Now it's being expanded to over 20,000 clinicians in the province. Well, congratulations again, and thank you for your time today, sir. Pleasure, thank you.